Welcome, welcome to Everyday Mathematics. As we always say here at Everyday Mathematics, we do enjoy solving the harder problems, but above all, we also do see and appreciate the beauty in the simpler problems. So today's problem comes from the MIT 2022 integration B quarterfinal number two. And from that, we're picking problem number two. Uh, the title uh, for this problem, would like to uh, dab it uh, permutations. So our problem is the maximum uh, of uh, these variables, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6, x7, uh, that is picked from uh, the integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and that is using the integral uh, whose lower limit is the integral itself uh, from x is equal to x1 to x2 of x3 to the upper limit whose a value is the integral from x equals x4 to x is equal to x5 of uh, x6. And that is used to integrate uh, x7, which is also a constant. And so this is our problem today. And we'd like to find the maximum value uh, out of this integral based on the combination, the right combination uh, of what we see beneath here. Um, and so it's a very interesting problem. Um, I hope you stick around with us, uh, and uh, if you have any comments, uh, we do welcome any comments and suggestions. Uh, but uh, before I begin, I'd like to thank our subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. We don't we don't take your support for granted. Uh, we do thank you so much. Uh, your support is what motivates us to come back uh, time and again. Uh, for first-time visitors, uh, what we do here at Everyday Mathematics is we uh, go out, look at what seem to be harder problems, and we come back with solutions and propose them to you. Um, and then to our repeating visitors who haven't uh, gotten the um, opportunity to subscribe to our channel, we do encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Other than that, we are moving uh, on to solve this equation, uh, this uh, question. Um, so um, the first thing that uh, I like to do is, you know, we'll just go ahead and try to, to solve this problem. Um, so we like to solve the upper limit first. So we pick this integral at the upper limit. And uh, since these things are always, these are all constants, this is the same as uh, obviously x6 times x with the upper limit of x4 and x5. And so we get the expression x6 times x5 minus x4. And um, the lower limit also becomes x3 times x2 minus x1. So when these lower and upper limits are applied to our integral, um, it becomes then um, the maximum of uh, this integral with the now the lower limit and the upper limit substitute x3 times x2 minus x1 and x6 times x5 minus x4 respectively. And then we have x7 uh, still here. So we you eventually apply, um, or you eventually conduct the integration and um, we do have um, the final um, expression be x7 times x uh, with these appropriate uh, up, low and upper limits. So eventually you have an expression where we have a maximum of x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6 picked out of x7, picked out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And so um, of the final expression, which is x7 times, in bracket, x6 times x5 times x4 minus x4 minus x3 uh, times x2 minus x1. So um, this can be re-expressed such that we interchange x1 and x2 so that this sign here uh, becomes a plus. 
Um, so this is where now we have to play a game of permutation where we would have to pick x1 up to x7 appropriately so that this expression here is a maximum. Um, now, the first assumption I would want to do is, well, uh, we do have that expression. Imagine you have A, which is greater than B, which is greater or equal to C, which is greater than or equal to, which is greater than D, which is greater or equal than E. Uh, because when you look at these numbers, when you pick one, the remain, I mean, for example, if we pick, if A is, is seven, then um, the others are obviously less than seven. And if you continuously pick an integer out that is greater than the remaining, um, so you, you don't have um, you don't you, you don't have our candidates that are of the same value. So if this is our assumption, and then um, we say let a be equal to x seven and b equals to x six based on this expression, and c be equal to x five minus x four. Um, and then D is equal to X3, and uh, this is E. Um, let me correct that. And this is E. Right? Uh, versus when A is X6, uh, and, and B is X7, and C is X5 minus X4, uh, D is X3, and E is still X1 minus X2. So we're trying to see in the possibilities that we do have here, if you make X7 the maximum, or you instead shift X7, I mean the, the maximum value to be x6, um, what will the expression be? Um, so that means that we are comparing a in bracket bc plus de versus b uh, in times in bracket ac plus de. As we can see, uh, this suddenly is greater than this. Why? Because when you multiply A across and B across, this A, B, C, and A, B, C cancel out. And then when you take this B, D, E to the uh, left-hand side, uh, you are left A, D, E minus B, D, E, um, supposedly greater than zero. You pull D out, you have A minus B is greater d e times a minus b. So since d is greater than zero and e is greater than zero, a is greater than b, so this value holds. So this expression holds. So it makes really um, better sense since we want this value to be, we want this expression to be the maximum to choose what is greater. So um, this a should be the should be the maximum or should be the highest uh, possible uh, uh, choice. So therefore, x7 should be equal to a, which is equal to seven. And now we have uh, four other candidates to now try and decide. So our expression is that, and we have this imagination and we've already kind of uh, figured out that a should be the maximum possible, and so a is seven. Uh, but then what is x6 and x5 and x4, x3, x1, x2? So with this, um, since this is an addition problem, um, if using this uh, imagination that we have, if we keep b and c, on one side and D and E on the other side of the addition sign, then this is greater than 
if you try to multiply C and for example, D and then B and E, in the sense that when you subtract this from the left-hand side, um, you are left with C minus E times B minus D. Since C is greater than E and B is greater than D, this uh, expression holds. So uh, in essence, what this is telling us is that the combination of C6 and C5 minus C, uh, I mean, the combination of X6 and X5 minus X4 should be greater than X3, X1 minus X2. So uh, essentially, what we're going to do is now set X6 be equal to six, and possibly X5 minus X4 should be five minus one to give us the greatest difference, uh, which is four. So when you make that choice, then you get uh, six times four, which is 24. And then what about if we say X6 is five, and so we have X5 minus X4 be six minus one, which is five, we are getting uh, X6 times X5 minus X4 we equal five by five, which is 25. So 25 is greater than 24. So we would go for this lower combination, right? Then now we are left with uh, B, uh, D and E, um, still with our imagination, if X3 is equals to four, X1 minus X2, is three times three minus two, since these are the only remaining. Um, so the product of X3 and X1 minus X2 is four by times one, which is four. Uh, and then if we said X3 is equals to three and X1 minus X2 is equals four minus two, which is two, uh, the product for X3 and X1 minus X2 is three times, which is six. So since six is greater than four, uh, the second uh, option seems to be uh, of our choice because we want the maximum possible value of uh, this expression. So essentially what now we have is that the maximum of um, the integral that we had um, of x7 times in bracket x6 times x5 minus x4 plus x3 times x1 minus x2 is seven. And since this value amounted to 25 and this value had a maximum of six, this is the same as seven times 31 and that is 217. And that that is the final, that's the answer. Um, if you ended up using, for example, um, Python, to run a combination, uh, a permutation of uh, one, two, three, four, five, seven, that amounts to the maximum possible value of this expression, you still get 217. So this is, uh, this is the quickest way I would approach this problem. Um, you may have a different way of doing it. Um, we welcome any suggestions and comments, uh, but obviously this is a tricky problem and you are required to use some strategy to come up with this final answer. It was an absolute pleasure sharing this approach with you. Um, if you have any question, please uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, but other than that, until next time, à la prochaine fois, à tout l'heure.